Listen folks, right off the bat, down below I'm gonna have all the timestamps. So since this video might get a little longer than usual, I'll be talking about lots of things. I'll be telling you guys my opinions as well. You can go check me out on Facebook and Instagram. Over there I'll be posting results and here in front of me you'll be seeing the results. So no matter what I say in this video, you can go ahead and compare results and check them yourself. First, I wanna put this out there that none of these companies pay me to do none of this. Nobody knew. Actually, there's one company that knew I'm gonna do this since I've posted that I'm gonna do this on Instagram, but it's been a couple of months. Fauna Marine seen the post and told me, hey, you have our old test kit, and they went ahead and sent me two new ones in this video. Obviously, since I've used the other one, I'm gonna give away this one. And I do have um, one Triton as well. So just go ahead and wait till the end of the video. That's when I'm gonna give away both of these. So yeah, they're the ones they've seen and I've ordered that in actually saltwateraquarium.com. If you're watching this video, make sure to fix that with Fauna Marine. And since it was winter, when I wanted to compare all these, I didn't really know if the samples will be fine like that to be sent and if they froze. Since I'm here in Chicago, this winter was pretty rough. So I just waited a few months because of both of those two reasons. I didn't want samples to froze and I wanted to wait for Fauna Marine to kind of forget what happened. So yeah, that's the reason and if you see my Instagram post, that's the reason why I haven't done it right off the bat. And now I have results, so we're gonna talk about it. First, I wanted to talk about who came back with the results first. So when I've sent my ICP vials to USPS, it took for all of them three days for them to get the samples. The first one that came back with the results what actually took them just one day is ICP analysis from Denver, Colorado. They were first. So second place goes to Reflabs and Triton. They needed two days to have the results done for me. Every single one of these companies will actually email you when they have results ready for you. And actually, since I'm mentioning Reflabs, they're the only ones, again, I'm not sponsored by Reflabs. I've been getting notifications by email every single day where the package is, like estimate when they're gonna get the package. And they send me email, of course, when everyone else sent me an email that uh, results are ready. I believe that Triton as well has sent me an email when they got my samples as well. And none of the other ones have done this, but of course, everyone else have sent me an email when they had my results ready. So yeah, if you need fast results, check ICP analysis, Reflabs, and Triton. Turn the list was Fauna Marine, which needed three days for results to come back, and then Reef Moon Shriners, which they needed four days for results to come back, and ATI needed five days for results to come back. So basically you're looking three days plus five days is the longest that ATI took. So that's eight max amount of days that you're gonna have your results ready uh, between all of these. One other thing, this is my second time actually sending any of the ICP samples. I believe in 2018, first time I sent my ICP samples to the Triton. And right now, actually five years afterwards, I'm sending all of these and I'm learning how to set up the account, how to pick up the samples. I just wanna give you a heads up. All of these are pretty easy. And of course, when you're doing once, every other time is gonna be way more easier. And plus you don't need to set up your account again. But if you're doing this first time, I'll tell you that Reflabs was the one of the easiest to set up the account and to send the samples. It was just the easiest to follow. And Fauna Marine took me the longest to figure out what's happening, what's going on, even though I've sent the other ones. But as I said, all of them are pretty easy. And uh, if you're doing this first time, just take your time, just go over their website and just go over the steps, how to do it properly. Some of them have some instructions of the packaging as well. One other thing, RDI water. RDI water, the only ones that had actually an option to send RDI water were ATI and Reef Moonshiners, at least with the ones I've sent. And yeah, Reef Moonshiners, when I've got their results, I got them all in German language. And I don't have nothing against German language. I'm actually, whatever, one quarter German or whatever, it doesn't really matter. But 
if you're getting these results from here from America, please, I mean, it's not that hard to just to translate and just to send those results in English. I need a little bit more time to translate from German to English so I can put them here. So that was a little bit of a hassle. I'm pretty sure that's pretty easy for you to fix. So again, if you're watching, please fix that. I'm not the right person to go over the results, but as I said, the results are gonna be right in front of you. So just look over the results and make that decision yourself. What do you think is correct? What do you think can be done better? And uh, all the other things, of course. And by the way, if you're a YouTuber or you wanna comment on any of these results, you can go get them on my Facebook, on Instagram, which again, I have in the description down below. You can grab my results and make a video by yourself. I wouldn't mind you doing that since all I want with this video is the more people see these results and the more people have broad idea, like have basics and how it is when you send the results, what do you expect to get back? I don't mind if you do a video as well, just use my results. Of course, I'm gonna go ahead and post them here in the video as well. But again, if you wanna just grab three snapshots of these because these are all the results I have from the ICP companies. You can just go ahead and do that. One other thing, I do have lots of beginners watching my YouTube channel. I just want to tell you right off the bat, don't bother about ICP companies since major elements are way, way, way more important than any of the minor elements. And especially if you have a small system, 120 gallons or less, just do that water change. Of course, you can go ahead, order one of these and send it over and just see just in case if you have any metals in your system or anything like that. But for most of the beginners that have smaller systems, just do water change. You'll be fine, don't play mad sciences. Trust me, it's way more important for your phosphates, nitrates to be in check, for your alkalinity, pH to be in check, salinity, and of course, calcium, magnesium, than any of these others minor elements. So just try to keep those as stable as possible. Test a lot so you can get a hang of the test kits. Make sure that your results are consistent. And afterwards, when you've been in hobby for a while and you know what you're doing and something's off and you wanna double check it, then of course you can go ahead and send one of these tests. And if your system's looking great right now, maybe go ahead and do it just so you can see the current chemistry of your reef tank when it's doing good. And afterwards, if something comes up, you can kind of compare it with that test. I'm gonna go ahead and give away first the Fauna Marine. If you wanna get this one and you live in the United States, just go ahead and comment down below in this video, which is my favorite. Acropora, I'm gonna give you a hint, it's been a hobby for a while. First person to guess it in the comments down below, just here on YouTube, not on the other socials. The first person who gets it right is gonna get this one for free. And since I'm selling corals, by the way, not sure if you knew that, just go ahead and search from down below, just go check out my uh, website where I sell my corals. You can order anything from my website. If it's a coral, nitrate, phosphates, or anything else that I sell, the first person that orders anything from our website is gonna get it. this one for free and you don't need to put it in your cart or anything, I'm just gonna put it in the box and just send it over. Again, the first person who orders anything from our website is gonna get this one for free. All right, with all that out of the way, let's get into meats and potatoes. So when I went over and looked into the results I got from all the ICP companies, I decided actually to split them in two groups. I decided to split them in a group that most of the ICP companies are kind of agreeing on the value. And the other group is actually the group that's kind of more complicated. Some will match and some are completely off. So I'm just gonna put all of those in a different group and I'm gonna go ahead and read the ones that actually all of the ICP companies agree on first. All right, first is Boron. Triton says the lowest value is at four and ICP analysis is telling me that's around five and all the other ones, it's kind of between, so that's all good. All right, next element is bromine. Bromine, again, most of ICP companies are agreeing that it's somewhere in between 65 and 99 and all of the other ones are kind of between. Again, all the optimal value, so we're gonna go ahead and go to the next one. Well, calcium is anywhere between 442 to 497, all the other ones are kind of in between. Again, 
optimal level. I know it's a little bit elevated. That's why I usually keep my Colosseum. I don't really dose my Colosseum separate. I do those Kalkwasser and all for Reef. And every single time, basically, I test for my Colosseum. It's always around 480 or so with my test kits. So that's kind of where the old uh, ICP companies are telling me as well. So we're good to go. Next one, not all of the ICP companies are testing for chlorine, but the ones that do test for it, they're all agreeing that it's, it's somewhere in between 23,000 range, 24,000 range, and all the other ones are in between. So that's all good. Basically, what I will tell me is it's an elevator just to water change, and that's it. All right, my potassium. I am dosing potassium nitrate, and I do know that my potassium is a little bit higher than what most of the tanks are keeping it at, and I actually do like the value that I'm getting from ICP companies as well. I do test my potassium with a Salifer test kit. It's basically telling me very similar results what I got from ICP companies, and basically the lowest value is 406, and the highest value, let me see what I got, 467 from Fauna Marine. All the other ones are in between. That's all good. Next one is the magnesium. Magnesium is pretty good. Actually, they were all tested around 1400 except uh, Triton, which tested 1350 or so. All good. I do keep my magnesium a little bit higher just because of all the Montes I have in my tank. So around 1400 and uh, higher. And yeah, all right, sodium. So SCP companies are agreeing on the value and it's between 10,640 to 11,769. And all the others are in between. That's all good. One of the companies are telling me it's elevated. Again, just do water change, color of the day, that's all good. All right, next one is sulfur. Not all of the companies are testing for sulfur, but all the other companies are agreeing on value. It's optimal, so we're gonna continue to the next one. Next one is strontium. All of the ICP companies are telling me that I'm deficient in strontium, and they're telling me very similar value, and I'm gonna believe that value for sure. That's why I got strontium bottle and I went ahead and dosed a little bit of strontium into my tank. All of these elements that are read so far are very straightforward. All of the ICP companies are agreeing on. Same as strontium here, so that's why I decided, since everyone's telling me it's deficient, I'm gonna go ahead and add some. All right, chromium. Most ICP companies haven't detected any. ICP analysis detected some. Again, it's all optimal, so I'm just gonna skip to the next one. Next one is lithium. Lithium, it goes anywhere between 193 to 322, which is actually a little bit higher value that I got from Reef Labs. But everyone else is telling me it's around 200 or so, and it's all optimal. Again, that's all good. I'm gonna skip to the next one. Molybdenum. Molybdenum goes anywhere between 11 to 15. Again, everyone's saying it's optimal level. Phosphorus. Most of the ICP companies are telling me that it's anywhere between, let me see, 9 to 22, and all the other ones are very actually close. Some of them tell me they're a little bit deficient, which I do know. I got my phosphate levels deficient as well, which you guys are gonna see afterwards. But yeah, some are telling me it's deficient, most of them tell me uh, I'm optimal, so I'm gonna go ahead and go to the next one, selenium. None of the ICP companies detected it, and that's all optimal, so I'm gonna go to the next one. Silver, the same, not detected, so that's all good. Bismuth, not detected, optimal level. Next one's cadmium. Again, probably some of these I won't pronounce well. So cadmium, it's not detected. The rest is lead, antimony, titanium, thallium. None of the ICP companies detected, none of those. Plus lanthanum, again, not detected from none of them. Next one is phosphate. This one is a little bit tricky since some of the ICP companies are telling me similar values while other ones are telling me way lower, like uh, Reef One Shiner is telling me very low value, and uh, Triton is telling me a little bit lower, but the other ones are telling me that's around 0.04 to 0.06. Again, we're gonna go ahead and trust those companies, of course, since just the Reef One Shiners had way off result, but all the other ones are good. All right, let's go to Tin. Tin, again, most of the ICP companies are telling me that's a little bit elevated or it's optimal and it's between 10 and 14 or so. So that's all good. Probably have to do water change and take care of that. Next one is Tungsten. Tungsten, not all of the ICP companies are testing for Tungsten, but the one they do, they're telling me it's not detected. Right now, I'm gonna go ahead and read the elements that not actually every single company is testing for these. I don't think the ICP machine is testing for these and probably not even the ones that ATI has and Reef Moon Shiners have, but they do check for salinity, DKH, fluorine, 
and nitrate. So if you wanna double check your nitrate, if you wanna double check your DKH and salinity, the only ICP companies you can go with is ATI Reef Moonshiners. But as I uh, went ahead and uh, told you guys earlier, these companies are gonna take a little while so they can come back with your results. Uh, might be worth it just cause you can kind of double check with your alkalinity, with your nitrate, all the other ones that we're gonna test your phosphates, but not your nitrate. And uh, again, salinity, DKH, if you wanna double check those, even though I'm not sure again if they're using ICP machine or their test kits, but it doesn't really matter. I like that, that I can at least double check my numbers with theirs and then be sure that those are good. All right, next one is uh, sulfate, which just uh, Fauna Marine Reef Moon Shiners I got results from back. All none of the other ones will test full sulfate. I'm not sure if it's important, but they both came with similar results around 2,500, 2,600. So that's all good. Silicate they got back just for Fauna Marine that I'm high on silicates and nitrite. I got back results just from Reef Moon Shiners. None of the other ones will check for nitrite and I got it this optimal level. And uh, yeah, that's about it as far as all the elements that ICP companies are agreeing on. Now I'm gonna go ahead and read all these uh, complicated elements that some of the ICP companies are not really agreeing on. First one is barium. I got from one company from Leaf Labs, not detected at all. And I got it from Triton, that it's uh, eight. From other companies, I got it as uh, 1.42, 1.2, 0.3, 1.9, all of those are pretty off. Again, barium, I'm not sure how important it is in a reef tank. Plenty of them are telling me that's efficient or optimal. So let's go to the next one, cobalt. Most of the ICP companies haven't detected any cobalt, but some of them for the marine and ICP analysis got some results back. And again, have no idea what to do with that. Levels are in parts per billion. So the reading they got is pretty low and they're all telling me it's optimal. So I'm just gonna skip it even though this one's not as bad actually i don't see that big of a difference as here so we're gonna go to the next one all right iron as from triton i got not detected from ati i got not detected and then from fauna marine and from brief moon shiners i got actually pretty similar levels and those are the only ones that are similar, 2.5 and 2.75. So I'm gonna probably go ahead and trust those. And from ICP analysis, I got it at 7.294. Again, I'm gonna assume just cause Fauna Marine and Reef Moon Shiners got those two very similar. I'm gonna assume that those are correct. But again, I don't really know what to do with the other ones. Actually, Fauna Marine is telling me that my level of iron is elevated. And ICP analysis is telling me since the 7.294 deficient. That's very confusing since us as reefers, for instance, I do know my major elements, but I don't know where my iron is supposed to be. I have no idea. But some of them are telling me that I'm elevated. Some tell me that I'm deficient. If you're testing your iron all the time, you probably know what you're looking at right here. I do not test my iron. I actually do add Chato Grow in my tank once a month just because I have a Chato growing in my sump. Let's go to iodine again. Very, very confusing. From some companies, I get 67. From some companies, I get 200. Two ICP companies are telling me that's optimal. Two ICP companies are telling me it's high and two ICP companies are telling me it's elevated. I'm gonna assume that it's a little bit elevated, but again, let's say I've done my ICP test with some of these ICP companies that are telling me numbers are optimal, and I don't know that's actually a little bit elevated. I can add some and probably make a big mistake and add even more to my tank. Probably don't wanna do that. So again, some of these are very complicated. I'm gonna have results in front of you. Whatever I say, it doesn't really matter. You make your own decision of what do you think it's correct. All right, next element, let me see. Manganese, Reef Labs, ATI, and Triton are telling me that it's not detected. Fauna Marine and Reef Moonshiners are actually getting very similar results, and they're telling me that I'm either slightly elevated or deficient. The ICP analysis, I got even higher result from that, and they're telling me that I'm optimal. So I got lower result from Fauna Marine, and they're telling me I'm elevated, and I got higher result from ICP analysis, 0.62, almost 63, 
and they're telling me that I'm optimal. I do have some Maganis in my tank and I've heard who has optimal level of manganese that his Maganis will do better. So I'm gonna assume that my manganese is good. I am dosing all three from Tropic Marine, so I assume I'm getting some manganese from there since again, my Gonia pores are doing good. Next one's nickel. I got uh, from two ICP companies that it's not detected, while from other ones, I got the results around three to around four. Two companies are agreeing that it's not detected, four companies are agreeing that my uh, level is optimal. So I'm probably gonna go ahead and trust those. Silicon, silicon again, very confusing. I got numbers between 156 to 738. Brief Pipes is telling me it's not detected and that's optimal while from Fauna Marine, it's telling me that's actually very high. And then I got from Triton that's elevated. All the other ones are telling me it's optimal. It's very confusing. I have no idea what to do with that. All right, Vanadium. Triton got it as not detected. Reef Labs detected very little of it and actually got from ICP analysis, got 10 parts per billion. Again, some of the companies are telling me it's elevated. Some are telling me some it's not detected. Some of the other ones are telling me it's optimal. Aluminum, I do think that my aluminum is a little bit high since I have marine pure blocks and balls that I had in the past, which I pull out some. I'm gonna go ahead and pull all the rest of them. Since Fauna Marine is telling me that it's very high, Reef Labs and Reef Moonshiners are telling me that it's slightly elevated and the other ones are telling me it's optimal. Since these three companies are telling me it's elevated. I'm gonna go ahead and remove that and see what happens. But again, Chitin is telling me it's 23. And then uh, ICP analysis telling me it's uh, 64. That's a pretty huge difference. I don't know what to do with that. And I don't know what to do with these recommendations. You guys have to start talking with one another and try to figure out where these elements should be so you can give us an accurate advice of what we should do. Should we do a water change? Should we start adding some of these elements that are deficient? Well, I'll do for right now, I'll actually gonna trust the ICP companies on the first group where they're all ICP companies are agreeing on and they all got very similar values. I'm gonna go ahead and trust them in those elements. But for right now, on the second group that I read, but it's very confusing. So maybe if you're looking at the screen and you're seeing that some ICP companies are agreeing, like for instance, if we look at my zinc, ATI, Fauna Marine, and Reef Moonshiners are agreeing that the zinc is uh, where it should be. They're agreeing where Monadium is, while other ones are slightly off. I'm gonna go ahead and probably trust those companies more with those elements then I'll trust the other companies. I think they all need just a little bit more time so they can figure out and give us more accurate results on some of these elements. They're all reading kind of different and they have to start talking with one another and I don't agree on which levels are optimal for certain elements and which levels element is deficient or elevated. And that way we can all be on the same page and no matter with which ICP companies you're gonna go with, you're gonna get very similar results and that way you're gonna know what to do with your tank. Either let's say you have heavy metals in your tank, you can do like large water change or you can do something about it. Like for instance, I've seen that my aluminum is high, so I'm probably gonna remove some of those green pure blocks. I've seen that all the LCP companies are telling me that my strontium is low, so I'm probably gonna add some of that. But that's it for today. Thank Thanks for watching and if you appreciate how much time and money I spent on this video please give it a like subscribe for videos and uh, see you guys next one